Welcome back to the Express in Crescent Beach Village in South Surrey. Have you ever wanted to flip through a magazine and feel like every article was speaking right to you and your interests? Well, the times, they are a-changing. There's a new iPad app created by a couple of UBC grads that claims to know you better than you know yourself. Welcome to the world of Zeit, where finding a good read is as easy as turning on your iPad. Zeit is a personalized magazine for the iPad. It automatically learns what you like and it gets smarter as you use it. Take a look at what the top stories of the day are. Developed by UBC grad Ali Javar, Zeit is a personalized magazine maker. It learns what your interests are, picks out articles to match those interests, and arranges them in stylish fashion. It starts by letting you select some topics that you like, and then as you uh, look at the articles inside the magazine, it, it measures what you like and what you don't. You can thumb up and down articles, but just naturally as you read and spend time on different articles, it'll learn what you like. Meaning the more you use it, the better it gets. But creating a program like this was no easy feat. Devar and his team of computer engineers spent five years developing Zeit's brain, teaching it to analyze a user's online habits. And it looks for patterns. So it looks for, you know, what is the nature and characteristics of the article you're reading, for instance. And then it really uh, takes those patterns and, and applies it to you. This philosophy being, you are what you read. Sometimes you, you have no idea where it's really pulling this thing from. It's like, how could it figure that out about me? We've had some users just kind of almost say it's a little bit scary how it managed to kind of nail their interest so quickly. Not only that, if you dislike long articles, Zeit will only fetch you shorter ones. It also gets videos, music, and pictures. Devar says this is the future of online browsing. It's a, a, an exciting field to be in. Search technology is, you know, the last 10 years, and discovery of all the great content out there is probably going to be the next 10 years. Zeit's been downloaded more than 200,000 times since its release in March, and an iPhone version is coming out soon, which means getting what you want just got a little easier. I'm Tim Chung in Vancouver for The Express. Zeit is a free iPad app, and you can get details at the Apple App Store or at their website. Now, up next on the Express, the creativity goes even younger. We're meeting some local kids from here in Surrey that are getting wise with nature and the latest Robert Bateman Get to Know project. At the Campbell Valley Regional Park in Langley, kids are getting reacquainted with nature. A bug is a bright color that might be poisonous. We were doing a pond study. We dipped and caught animals and then released them back. The program was started by Robert Bateman and what it's all about, it's essentially getting youth outdoors into nature to learn about their wild neighbors. There was a group of grade one twos, pond peeking, getting their hands mucky, exploring and finding some of the creatures out there. Today's events are part of Robert Bateman's Get to Know contest launch. There are presentations from OWL, the Orphan Wildlife Rehabilitation Society, and Metro Vancouver, who are streaming this barnyard presentation to classrooms around the world. Um, Bateman Get to Know has been in place now for over 10 years. Up to 18 at one point signed in. So each sign in could be a school, it could be an organization. But it's the really hands-on learning that can really stick with kids. I think if we can bring hands-on environment with the students actually seeing and doing, it connects that the fact and knowledge brings them together more clearly and develops a greater understanding. It's really important because you want the kids to know how important nature is so they don't litter or anything. And the contest, which encourages kids to get to know nature through their artwork, does exactly the same thing. There's so many values for connecting youth with nature because it gets them outside, it's health and wellness, it's outdoor recreation, and also getting to know wild neighbors and the wildlife. People learn more about the animals and the plants, so they learn how to care for them as well and hopefully become stewards of the environment. Because if you think if there's too many mice around, they're going to... I'm Erin Shaw in Langley for The Express.
can see all the pictures of the different birds. The Robert Bateman Get to Know contest runs until May the 23rd, so kids still have a few weeks to submit their drawings of nature, and you can get all the information at the website. You're watching The Express, and we have more stories about young local talent coming up. After the break, the bee ballers of night hoops. Trumpet player Alex Gramble. The Express. This is your local voice. Welcome back to The Express from Crescent Beach Village in South Surrey. So far in today's show, we've talked gong show fundraisers, new iPad apps, and also hockey hoopla. So now it's time for some hoops. The 15th annual Night Hoops basketball season is well underway, giving a whole new generation a chance to learn some life skills through the game of basketball. The 15th season of Night Hoops jumped into action for another year. The anniversary event was celebrated by past, present and future members with a special award given to Gordon Hogue who founded the Night Hoops program. Thank you for coming out today and for having such a great vision and a great idea. I was the director of Willingdon Youth Detention Centre and I was looking, uh, sitting in my office at one point looking at the statistics in terms of offences by young offenders and over 90% of them were at late at night and it seemed that we didn't have a lot of programs in the evening. Night Hoops seemed like a logical way to do that. Our goal was certainly not excellence in terms of athleticism. Our goal was a good citizenship, being engaged in and, and being engaged with their community and caring about each other. And those, I think, are the stories that are most important. We're feeling good about themselves and feeling like they were participants in a community, participants in a team. And the first step towards that was, was being part of a team. Steve Anderson, the Night Hoops program manager, continues to develop, promote, and encourage young people to get off the streets and onto the court. Okay, hey guys, thanks for coming to the championship event and playing in the program. Uh, we've got prizes for you guys. But when I get into the gym and I see the kids playing and I see them competing and having a lot of fun, wearing a Night Hoops jersey, representing their community center or neighborhood house, it, it's really great. And we involve kids from uh, you know, some that don't have anything else that they can do on a Friday, Saturday night. Some, some don't have a lot of parental supervision. We're able to give them a safe place to be on Friday, Saturday night with a coach who cares about them. <laughs> Kids can go to their community center and ask, when's night hoops starting up? Do we have a team here? And, uh, and then, you know, through the youth worker at the center, they'll, they'll fill out the referral forms and, and get involved in the program. Um, the beautiful thing about that is in night hoops, there's no tryouts, there's no cuts. You just have to love to play basketball and want to be part of something. The day closed with some local youths taking on the Vancouver Police Department. But it wasn't about the score, it was all about having fun playing the good old Canadian sport of basketball. Well, maybe a little bit about the score. For The Express, I'm Charles Bosio. You can learn more about the Night Hoops basketball program at their website. Now it's all about the music up next with our youth produced segment, Gen Y. They're introducing us to a talented trumpeter who doesn't really need to blow his own horn because his skills are getting noticed all on their own. Bells, valves, and a tuning slide. Today we explore the world of trumpets with Alex Gambrell, a young jazz trumpeter who is definitely going places. The trumpet I think is really versatile. Like for the trumpet you can play rock, you can play smooth jazz, you can play anything in between that. You can make anything from a really brass, like punchy sound to a really soft sound. Alex's love for jazz started when he was a baby. I remember my dad telling me that when I was probably about one, when I, we lived in our old house, um, every night they put on music 
to help me fall asleep. And originally they put on, I think, CBC Radio 1, the, or the classical station, whichever one it was. And apparently I didn't like that, so they switched it over to the jazz station. Alex loves to perform, but there are some pieces he particularly enjoys. Every time I play this song, Portrait of Louis Armstrong, it was originally done in the Duke Ellington Band, I think. Um, every time I do it, I just have a lot of fun, just because playing like Louis Armstrong is probably one of my favorite things to do, because it's just so out there and unique. And you can really just kind of be loud and abrasive. It's just really like exhilarating. Your heart's pounding. I don't really get nervous so much anymore because, well, I've because of school band, I've done it so often. Like, there's one thing about playing in a small environment, like in the band room with your band, but like playing for a crowd, like, like lets people really know you're out there. Trumpet playing has definitely proven to have its payoffs for Alex. First of all, I hope to get accepted into Capilano for my audition in two weeks or so. And eventually after that, I hope to make a living in music. I'll, how? even though that's really unlikely. I just, it would probably be my dream in life to just play all day, every day, if I could. It is now clear to me that music brings everything to life. I'm Abby, signing up for Gen Y on the Express. Gen Y is brought to you by Options, Surrey Community Services Society. Gen Y is a Shaw TV access segment. All the youth reporters are volunteers. They get to learn a little bit about the world of broadcasting and stay connected to the local community. And that's what we're all about on the Express, connecting community, especially with today's spotlight. Doxa explodes in 2011 with an exceptional lineup of films. From the rude, rough world of skate to the rarefied visions of Vancouver's photo conceptualists, Doxa presents the most innovative and exciting forms of documentary film. Circus West is proud to present a magical and mystical circus, which tours through Stanley Park over the last 125 years. The show will chronicle the journey of Lord Stanley and guests as they travel from major park landmarks along the sea path and interact with animals and supernatural forces along the way. A powerhouse of presenters from around the world will explore and speak on cultural roots, classical perspectives, and contemporary context of Chinese gardens. The conference will be followed by an evening reception at the Dr. Sun Yat-sen Classical Chinese Garden. And there's always something interesting happening at the Museum of Anthropology, so we're going to leave you with a visual tour of that, and we'll see you next time.